Hello everyone, welcome to science lessons. Today I'm taking care of my pet. Usually I grooming my pet once a week. Her name is Marvie. Hmm, your ears look different with me. Did you hear in the same way? Did you hear in the same way? Uh huh. How if I call Dr. Mene to make sure about the animal's hearing? Yeah! Hello, Dr. Mene. Hi, honey. What are you doing right now? Now I'm taking care of my pet. I have a question for you. The animal's ears look different with us. Did they hear in the same way? That's very good question. Whatever their shapes and size, most living things are able to hear. Although they do it in a lot of different ways and sound all around us. They travel to the air, water, and land. And for animals, and humans to make sense of sound they have to reach the brain first I have told you in the previous video many insects ooh, pick up sound through tiny hairs on their body while snack feel the sound by their skin fish and other sea animals feel sound as the wave travel to the water. Birds and mammals have ear canal like you and I, although the tiny mouse has a different range of sound compared to an elephant because smaller ear birds pick up higher vibration while bigger earbuds pick up much lower vibrations that need to be able to hear a huge spectrum of sound because they use sound to navigate in the dark even more impressive is to the wax moth and these little guys can hear 150 more than we can but that's because its main predator are bats. So they need to stay one step ahead. Even your pets have different range of hearing. That's why your dog might bark from its ears a dog whistle, which you and I cannot hear. And finally, it's done! Yeah! I wish you are really enjoying my video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. See you on the next video. Bye!